Morning everybody. It's been a while since I've uh, made a updated video, about two weeks. So a lot of stuff has been going on inside of here. A lot slower going than the original videos. They are coming fast and furious because the outside work goes so fast. Now the inside work, we're slowed down a little bit. And uh, figured I'd just give you a quick update of what's going on. There's a dock, we actually used it once already. Our main door, we're still waiting for our PPNL to bring our power in. There's the lovely pole that they put in weeks ago. And they still need to put a pole in right there and bring the power to the building. And we are just dying, waiting for that. So uh, electricians have been doing all the wiring and everything. You can see there's a ton of stuff in here we had in storage that we had to get out and get into the building. So we've been working around it. The newest thing uh, you'll see is on the inside of the walls. Last we were here on a video, it was just framed. You can see that they did metal uh, from eight foot up to the ceiling all the way around the building and the bottom is plywood and I've already started painting plywood over there and on the other wall here. The reason why we do the plywood instead of the metal um, or why we they do it and we wanted it that way as well though is uh, so then when you're stacking or you're moving around in the building and with racking and stuff that if you're banging it it's not denting the metal and making it look like garbage so instead the wood is a little bit stronger in that way. Um, so that's what we have there. We got our last windows in. We have some uh, down, those two down there all the way in the end. They were back or actually the three. Uh, as you know, it's 2020 and uh, building materials are way, way, way back ordered and people are waiting for all kinds of stuff these days. And uh, it's kind of strange, but anyways. So just taking you for a walk to give you a little update. The mezzanine, all the lights are up while we're waiting for power. It's crazy, man. Um, and electricians have most of their stuff done inside. You can see the big main panel there and CT cabin. I can show you that on the outside is massive. Uh, it's supposed to be running the service lines, uh, tomorrow. So through the conduit under the floor, all the way out to the front corner of the building. So, uh, uh, internal plumbing and wiring was all done past inspection. We're all good to go on that stuff. Sheet rockers are starting today. Today is the day for some sheet rocking, which really makes things start to look, right? Like real rooms, it's kind of crazy the difference a sheet rock makes if you've ever done a home product project. I've always been amazed at how big of a difference the taping, after it's taped, how big of a difference it looks after uh, that's done. But uh, so you can see everything is ready in here. Um, and uh, plumbing, also got our uh, sand mound in finally over here. As you know, that was the lesson I learned about ripping out all of our topsoil and getting it gone because we didn't have room. And so we had to buy lots of dirt to bring in. Ha ha ha, lesson learned. And there's our massive sand mound tank down below there, you can see it. And uh, there's your pipes up there. So this is all done. We'll have to get some grass and plant it on there. And uh, whatever. And there's the massive honking CT cabin. I had to lift that thing up with a uh, skid steer because it was so heavy for uh, just uh, you know two guys to lift it up and hold it in place while somebody was attaching it to the building. So, And uh, clean out for the sand mound. Power right there. Uh, power goes into that from the sand mound and then uh, out into the uh, utility room. So. Just some updates, guys. Like I said, it's like slower going now because uh, all the uh, the finished work, but uh, still coming along. Some things have changed and uh, I'll uh, leave you with that. Have a great day.